Hello people, hope you're doing good. I'm actually very excited about today's video. You've seen me hype it on my Instagram page if you have been following me. And the reason being that I want to actually express my gratitude to you guys for all the tremendous support, all the, all the massive motivation and everything that you guys have been doing for me i cannot express enough how grateful i am because you guys have literally been the the fuel that has been pushing me that has been making me do what i still do anytime i do anything it has been because you guys are always going to appreciate it and you guys are always going to tell me that what i'm doing is good and i should continue to do that i don't think i've been <laughs> in any way emotional about any video that I've posted but uh, today I want to actually use this opportunity to thank you guys for everything that you've done for me and so in view of that I want to return a favor for all of you who want to know how I shoot my bureau sequences but um, definitely and hopefully I'll be making a video on how I edit particularly my bureau sequences and probably something else but most importantly how I shot my Heineken beer b-roll sequence. And I'm gonna give you some explanations as to how I achieved the shots and the methods that I used to light up my product b-roll sequence. And so, of course, the elephant in the room. Let me get it focused. So I've gotten this focus because, yeah, that's what I shot and that's what you're gonna be discussing today. Um, I normally search a lot of content on Pinterest if I have any shoot coming up. So if you want to, you know, do a lot of reference and a lot of um, in checks to get or draw an idea or draw a concept, then you can use Pinterest. I will always recommend Pinterest as well as Instagram. You can check out a lot of images, a lot of videos, anything that you're interested in check them out on social media platforms or any kind of platform that will provide you contents as such and you're always going to get a lot of ideas from elsewhere to help you improve on your projects so i use pinterest and um, i came across bottles of course i've always wanted to shoot liquids and getting the opportunity to you know see or have the sight of a bottle pushed me into wanting to film something or take pictures of something that was a bottle <laughs> shooting liquids can be very tricky actually it can because it's glossy it looks like glass it's reflective it has all these kind of um, um, properties that will make it very difficult to work with in addition to the glass also having similar qualities it will be a double whammy to work against and so to always get it right, you need to always research and find out the right methods to be able to, you know, harness your skills and battle against all the challenges that may arise. All right, so what I'm going to be giving you guys is a quick explanation and description about how I shot the Heineken beer B-roll sequence. It was very simple. I needed to just set up a table and to place the bottle right on top of it, of course. But I needed to, you know, light up the bottle with soft lighting. And so I used my soft box, the Octabox, coupled with the SL60W from Kodox. I've actually made a review on the SL60W. So if you're interested in that light, kindly go check out my video and I'm sure that you're going to love it. So using that soft lighting quality from my light source, I was able to wrap around the bottle to give it that wonderful soft lighting quality. I figured that having the bottle standing still or sitting still on the table was going to be very boring and so with the use of the turntable, table, it gave it that motion and made it very interesting to look at. So with that rotation, it would reveal and hide the label. And that was exactly why I used the turntable. table. In addition to the lighting, I used the Yongno YN300 Mark III. I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to call it, but that's what I used to give the background some character. My background is actually white and so it was going to reflect any kind of light that I blasted against it. I used this light because it's bicolor, I was able to have the luxury to change the temperature to warm. And that's what I used to achieve the introductory shot in the whole sequence. And I also used the blue light in the sequence and this is how I achieved it. Because this light 
isn't RGB, meaning I cannot have a lot of colors from this light. I needed to use a gel, which was blue. And so getting a blue gel, I was able to change the background to give the whole atmosphere some kind of coldness to make it seem as if the bottle was actually very, very cold in the refrigerator. That kind of look was what I actually went for. I also used this small light, this small LED light. This is what I used to light up the Heineken, the introductory part of the video. This is exactly how I achieved that first shot that you're seeing as you see me demonstrate that in the B-roll sequence. Beer must be enjoyed cold. And so if the bottle was to be inside a fridge and pulled out, it will definitely sweat after some time, certain in room temperature. And so I needed to give the bottle that kind of a character because I couldn't wait and under normal circumstances who would wait for the bottle to you know become cold when you've had all your lighting set up done so I needed to recreate it or I mean through some means you know try to achieve this kind of look for the bottle and so I researched into how I was going to be able to achieve that and I came across using glycerine together with water so that that viscosity of this rain in addition to water would give me so much liquid to work with this is just a perfume bottle that i emptied and uh, i poured the solution of the glycerin and the water into this to spray against the bottle someone would have gone for their spray gun rather but this spray gun isn't recommended i wouldn't recommend this to you because that kind of i mean outpour that it gives is too much that it would ruin your shoot and so don't use this use this rather for finer particles and it will give you wonderful results so what i did was i sprayed onto the bottle as it was turning on the turntable as i filmed and uh, that's what you see me demonstrate right now and that's the results next to it the reason why i use glycerin is that glycerin is viscous it has a sticky character this sticky property in it so adding that to water is going to help you get more of the solution and secondly it is going to help you have the water stay on the bottle for a longer time than usual when you would use just water so to end the video i poured the beer into a glass you should always keep your glass clean because it is reflective and transparent at the same time any kind of smudge from the fingers Will be very visible to the camera and so try and avoid using just your bare hands i didn't have gloves which is recommended lying around anywhere in the house so i needed to continually clean the bottle and clean the glass anytime that i was ready to shoot and so because you wouldn't always nail the first shot i needed to continuously clean the glass the bottle and everything on set so that i could ensure continuity in everything that i did so with a few more trials, I was able to get first of all the foam and one property about beer is that you wouldn't always get its foamy property anytime you pour them over and over and over again. And so if you want to get back the foam property, you will have to refrigerate it again so that it will become cold and it will regain that kind of property. But in my case, I didn't want to waste time. So I tried and I actually nailed the first trial. And so you can, of course, nail the first trial and move ahead with it. But one thing that you also should know is that beer has the sizzling look. It has a sizzling feel to it. And so if you want to bring that back, of course, the foamy one would have to be sent into the fridge and back before you get it back. But if you want to regain or retain sizzling look in the beer, in whatever it is, you can use salt salt always works so when you use salt salt is going to bring back that sizzling look as you can see in the video right now and that was it so that's how i actually shot my heineken beer b-roll sequence if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't shared this across all social media platforms for all your friends to see this and learn a thing or two if you are new to my channel please go check out all my videos i have over here and turn on the post notification button to be notified of all future videos that I post here on my YouTube channel. Until the next video, I'll catch you later. See ya.